What's up? This is Mikey B. Zan, and I've been thinking a lot about the process of making things, uh, specifically animation, but it can be applied to any type of art, or really anything. Um, the lag between cause and effect, the lag between the period of hard work and the results you have to plant seeds to reap a harvest um, but there's a season in between the planting of seeds and the reaping of the harvest and for really big projects that you could spend a year on or two years on without seeing any results it becomes a question of how long must one toil in the mud before reaping a harvest this video is sponsored by my coloring book on Amazon. A lot of projects are never finished and most people have dozens of half finished projects in their minds or ideas that they've been wanting to turn into reality just floating around in their brains and sadly it normally stays in our brains until the grave so there, there has to be a sense of urgency when approaching one's creative work because there really are only so many days when you consider that there are only limited days it does help to eliminate projects that might not be worth our precious time and our precious limited resource of focus and attention Falling in love with the process matters, and that, that can help you complete things. But also, like for a really long project, specifically uh, an animated film, which is my own personal case, this film I've been neglecting for the past five or so years, uh, I've just been working on other stuff. So it's just like this half-baked idea in my head. Um, but if, if you are working on a big project like a game or a book that's going to take years to finish, sometimes it helps to have smaller projects in, in, in the lag period between finishing that big project and, and getting it out there. Because like little wins can help inspire you to uh, just keep making things. So for instance, if you're working on a project that's going to take three months and you aren't going to see results until three months well it might be a good idea to take a day every week and just make one thing that you can complete in three hours and then you have uh, some type of tangible end result and I, I think that that can help to execute these little small projects during the really big projects to help keep you inspired and 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 connected with other people and get feedback from people so we're all in this life experiment together each person is literally a human experiment and there's no like super clear roadmap because we all are creating our own roadmaps in our heads we're all drawing our own maps uh which isn't to say we're completely alone because we can learn from each other's maps so i suppose the purpose of these videos is is to share things that i'm discovering on my own map and I'm writing a like a ebook or a just a regular book or something. I think it's just going to be called Art Mind and it's just going to be stuff like this topic about the process of creating things and a lot of things to do with motivation, uh productivity. I've been reading a lot of books like that, like uh Deep Work by Cal Newport. I highly recommend that one. Nothing's perfect and nothing is finished. So just 
taking action, making something, saying something, doing something, going somewhere. That's the most important step. It's also the hardest because we have so many limited beliefs and fears and especially people who maybe are a little bit higher on the anxiety or neuroticism, they tend to be perfectionists and it, it can be uh, life crippling to, to be overly self-critical. And usually most people don't even care about what you're doing as much as you care about it because we're all just in our own heads worrying about our own problems. So, and that relates to finishing a project. Like no one can motivate you to finish your project. You have to motivate yourself usually. Um, but I hope maybe this video can help motivate you as well. So that's the moral of the story is just keep making things. If you're making animation, it's super hard, but we're all in this experiment together. So thanks for watching.